in the first problem, you're asked to find g of 2. And g of x is defined as the integral from 2 to x of f of t dt. We'll recognize the integral means area under curve. So we're looking for the area from 2 to 2. Well, since there's really no base to that area, the answer is 0. Now, when we turn around and look at the second one, where you're asked for g of 4, then this becomes a 4, and so does this. And so now we're looking for the area from 2 to 4. This area has a base of 2 and a height of essentially negative 4 because it's below the x-axis. So 4 times 2 is 8. Half of that is negative 4, again, because we're below the x-axis moving from left to right. The next value you're looking for is g of 8. So 8 will go in for x. And we're finding the area from 2 all the way to 8. Well, this was already determined to be negative 4. And this is 12. Since there is 12 on the positive side and 4 on the negative side, our total area is 8. The next value you're asked for is g of 0. So 0 goes in for x. And you're looking for the area from 2 back left to 0, this area. Now this area before was negative 4, but that was when we moved from left to right. Recognize by definition that from 2 to 0 is the opposite of 0 to 2. And so from 0 to 2, we would have negative 4. And we're going to take the opposite of that because we're going from right to left or because we've switched our integration limits. So now we're looking at 4. The next problem you're asked for, the derivative of g at 4. So g prime when this is 4. So that means if we're taking the derivative on the left, we need to take the derivative on the right. And the derivatives and the integrals will cancel out, meaning, hey, we just want f of x. And that particular x is the 4 we want. So as we look, our function at 4 is 0. This is the coordinate 4, 0. So that would be x, comma f of x. 0 is our answer. In the problem before, we were asked for the first derivative of g at 4. Now we're asked for the second derivative of g at 4. So if I take one more derivative on the left, I must take one more derivative on the right. So we're really looking for the derivative of f or the slope of the tangent of f of x. So as we go back and look at our picture, again at 4. So at 4 happens to be a cusp where we come in at different slopes left and right. Since there's a corner there, this is undefined. And the last problem is that same second derivative now at 6. So if we wanted g double prime at 6, we're looking for the derivative of f at 6, or the slope at 6. Notice the slope right here is 0. So that answer would be 0.